Hello everyone and welcome to What's New Candy Lou Who Vacation Edition. I'm on vacation! So we are filming on location from Palm Springs uh, in my backyard. Uh, so if it's a little loud, if we have some cars going, some trees a blowing, um, excuse the noise. So the noise, 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 noise! Uh, but we were so excited. We had a long travel day. A day and a half ago, uh, about 12 hours, uh, Oscar and I took uh, from San Francisco a bus to a train to another bus and finally arrived here. So we are so excited to be in like full vacation mode now. This is a vacation. So this past week, our first week of vacation, uh, we spent it in San Francisco staying with my sister and her my niece Carrie Bradshaw Stevens and just hanging out with her and her friends um, my sisters and Carrie's friends I guess too but we had an amazing time so this episode is kind of just gonna be a recap of all of the debauchery we got into in San Francisco it was actually pretty tame yeah right first week of our summer vacation July 2018 hashtag it um, I'm so excited so Let's get into it. Well, Oscar and I actually left Aarhus in Denmark at about 10 a.m. or so our time and with the time change and everything got into San Francisco at about 5 a.m. the next day. So uh, with Denmark time of course. So we were lagged to the jet. Like we were so tired. <laughs> flights actually weren't too bad. Lufthansa knows what's up with those two drinks for free on short flights. I like you and I get you and I respect you. I get so excited with plane rides. I'm like, I want to watch all of the movies. Yes, give me Tomb Raider. Alicia Vikander's arms. My gosh. We arrived at like 8 p.m. Uh, the night before 4th of July, so we were super ready. Uh, Oscar and I woke up at like 5 a.m. on 4th of July. We were ready to celebrate our independence. Well, just my independence, but. And so we got up early, we walked to Carrie Bradshaw. I, oh my gosh, I totally skipped. What we did when I came in the door at 8 p.m. was we got to finally cuddle and reunite with the love of my life, the other one of the many loves of my life, Carrie Bradshaw Stevens. It was also Oscar's first time meeting Carrie. It was, just so good to see her little face. I can't, I'm sure everybody was already swarmed with pictures of her. So we had a full on cuddle sesh the first night. Um, and then the next morning we were up and ready for 4th of July. We took Carrie on a nice walk, went to one of my favorite places, a place called Beanstalk that has the best craigles. Yes, that is a croissant and a bagel. So it's sausage or bacon um, and eggs and it's to die. And they have the best coffee too. So. We had that to start our 4th of July, went on some Facebook events, and then found a bar crawl. How best, how else to celebrate 4th of July, especially for Oscar's first 4th of July, introducing the Dane into how we do do. So we went on a bar crawl, got these bracelets, it was like 12 bucks, and then every drink that you got at the bars were $3. Like I forget what USD is to... Danish kroner anymore, but I, I still know that that's cheap. It's crazy. What a deal. We bar crawled kind of around the marina area in San Francisco. We made it to about four bars before we just had to pause. And we walked out to the marina pier area and it was gorgeous. So uh, yeah, we just got so lucky with the weather the whole time we were in San Francisco. So we were able to do all of the amazing outdoor activities more than I've probably ever been able to do um, the other couple of times I visited my sister. Fourth of July was gorgeous we passed out so hard <laughs> after that day I mean just of drinking and then walking around and then the sun and just still being jet lagged we were out uh, by the next day we I think that was one of the mornings I woke up at like 2 a.m. which was like once life <laughs> But once we officially got up, uh, Oscar actually looked at going to the Ferry Market Building, which I hadn't been for a while. So we went on down, just walked again. It was so nice to get around. Went down to the Ferry Market Building, looked around. It was amazing. Again, beautiful weather. We went to Hogs Island um, to, 
Oyster Company, I believe it's called, which I cannot recommend enough. Um, it's right by the pier, or in, by the port of San Francisco kind of area, and it is delicious. Uh, Oscar actually had his first ever oysters, and he enjoyed. He was pretty excited about them. Okay, you hooked already. We got you. But it was delicious. Uh, and then I think that one we just back and passed out, like napped real hard. And then went to go see Ant-Man because I found the new Alamo in San Francisco. They thought when I moved out of Austin that the Alamo, you can't take the Alamo out of the girl. You take the girl out of the Alamo. But you can't take the Alamo out of the girl, leading to her going back into the Alamo. Ant-Man and the Wasp, can't recommend it enough. Paul Rudd, my god, that man is aging backwards and literally climbing on my scale of people I would do, do anything for, honestly. Do and do anything for. Yeah. Sex or chocolate? Okay, could I, could I, <laughs> Kit Kat bar? So then Oscar and I were actually staying at my sister's a little bit um, before she had gotten home from Hawaii. Must have been nice. So she came home kind of our third day there and it was super nice just all of us getting to hang out, going on walks with Carrie. Uh, but we ended up going to uh, this rooftop bar on one of the new hotels in San Francisco called Charmaine's Bar. It, I thought they were going to be like, ma'am, you are obviously not classy enough to be here, so we're going to need you to turn around. We're going to need you to pivot and turn. Had some fancy cocktails. Again, the weather, I can't. You'll see the pictures. Um, but it was just absolutely gorgeous. So we had a really fun time getting cocktails, met up with a few of my sister's friends, some who I've met before, some who I hadn't, and had a ball. Um, that was also the evening I had some chicken and waffles. <laughs> Who wants chicken and waffles? So our last full day in San Francisco, Oscar and I got up, got some breakfast um, at Cafe Mason. So then we ended up meeting up with my sister and going to Dolores Park with a few of her friends. And I keep saying it, but the weather, it was beautiful. This park was insane. People were playing party games I've never heard of and probably never will understand. And it was just such an amazing day to do nothing but drink wine and chat and soak up the sun. San Francisco was amazing. And then following that, we had the 12 hour travel day that led us here. Instead of flying, Oscar and I wanted to drive and then we wanted to fly. And then I really wanted to have an opportunity for Oscar to just see more of California while we were here for the short time. So we decided to take the Amtrak train, which I have never actually really taken fully that long distance. We took the Amtrak basically from Emeryville, California to Bakersfield and then took a bus from Bakersfield to Palm Springs. So it was a trip, but it was actually kind of fun. And I will say one of the things that made it so over the top amazing was our train conductor. He was doing his own one man stand up show. I feel I really feel bad for his partners, the other people he's working with, because he was overshadowing them. Like, I could not tell you anything about them. I, he was fantastic. He was quippy quipping to everything. Let's all try using sticky quips. Um, for example, we were getting off at one of the stops, and he was like, okay, one more stop to Modesto. This is going to be a quick in and out like a bank robbery. <laughs> Just like dad humor, but accelerated, like dad humor and kings of comedy at the same he was amazing i really yeah I, he really made the trip enjoyable because people were cracking up at every stop if you had like a little stand-up routine for every stop it was gorgeous so though it was a long uh, ride here um it was super fun and obviously i love kind of taking those trips with oscar because we will just get delirious to a point that it just gets hilarious um like most times but now we're here also i <laughs> this hat my shout out to brit stevens <laughs> because she let me um borrow this hat but i do know that it's not flopping like it obviously spent too much time in my backpack and it is not flopping as it should and i feel like i'm about to like i'm giving some like mini carmen san diego in cuba vibes maybe or also just like i'm gonna shoot craps in like casablanca he's looking at you kid or something i'm not sure comment below if you can figure out what type of moment we're having here because it's something <laughs> so you know how you have 
those two di different types of vacations really like you either have a vacation where you're going to be sightseeing somewhere maybe more exotic you have you don't go a lot so you're you know hubba bubba gotta do this checking off the list and then you have the vacations where you're like i'm turning my phone off i am dead to the world who yeah like no phone who dis leave me alone and i feel like we've had san francisco was definitely still you know, my sisters live there. I've been there a couple times, but for Oscar, we definitely wanted to do things. So now that we've really landed in Palm Springs, this is the trip that's just chill. I just want to do nothing. I want to be in this hat, even though I don't need it right now because it's actually kind of cloudy out. But Oscar and I are so excited to just finally relax and do nothing but watch World Cup, which is why you don't have another special guest today. Actually, we do have a special guest for this video today, and her name is Vanjie, my vacation pimple. Miss Vanjie, Miss Vanjie. Um, Vanjie, the vacation pimple, decided to show up literally as I land in San Francisco, cause she is jealous, and she is, you know, she's vengeful. So say hi to Miss Vanjie, our special guest. Vanjie, vengeful, vacation pimple. She'll be here all week, probably. Don't do it, Miss Vanjie. I also love that you can probably see my hair getting more and more curly with the humidity here. Uh, but you know what? That's real. It's real vacation vibes. I think one thing that was really funny um, and interesting this week was we were landing in San Francisco and I was going through customs and, you know, they have the guys in the booths and I was, you know, getting ready to do my speech, but I was obviously very confident about it because I have my USA passport. So, you know, I was, I was ready to make some small talk and some chat and tell him what I've been up to. Yes, I'm visiting, you know, I live in Denmark, whatever. So he waves me on over and then I come up. He has one look at my passport, just opens up, welcome home, and then I'm through. No chat, nothing, which I, I'm, again, I'm not complaining. Are you sure? <laughs> really made me think like, oh, sh I, I guess I am home. You know, that I'm, I'm home now. And it's weird because I had been imagining kind of coming home and I'd been talking to friends who have been living abroad and coming home and just saying it's always so weird. <laughs> but especially because I know I'm coming back now. I, it's not like I'm, I've been gone for a year. I'm home now for a little bit and then I'm figuring out the next phase. I already have, you know, the next steps waiting for me in a few weeks. So I was ready for it to feel weird and to feel very displaced. And there was a little bit of that this week, but most of it, I was just so excited to ease back into something. I don't know how to explain, but I feel like coming back was always jarring when I would come um, back from traveling abroad and leaving and going to Denmark was, of course, jarring. But now it was just like nothing changed and everything changed. I feel definitely changed in some ways, my approaches and my uh, reactions to certain things. I feel have definitely changed. But just because just seeing the landscape of California and just going into San Francisco and being with my sister and being now at my house in Palm Springs, it just feels like I can ease back into it. So I do feel very at home, um, but I also feel like a visitor. And I think that's the, the point that's really changed for me is that I feel very much at ease and at home but I do know that it's gonna be changing and I do kind of have, I'm still working a little bit from here and I do have you know, plans that are happening next month in Denmark. So it's that weird in-between line of feeling like a homey, <laughs> a homey stranger, a homey visitor, shall I say, but I don't mind it. It's not as crazy as I've imagined and I'm just loving, relaxing, and being able to see my friends, although it's still, I have to pinch myself that I'm like actually gonna be able to talk and hold these people that I've missed for so long. So, very excited for the rest of vacation. Bye. Bye. I hope you guys are, if not having a full vacation right now, give a little vacation. Pop some champagne, have a beer in your shower, you know, get crazy. Have, might I add, a Bud Light <laughs> Oh my gosh. These things are so good. I'm, you know what? I didn't want to drink for every vlog. But I guess I'm going to. Happy vacation.
But I wanted to thank my sister again for hosting me and all of her friends for being hilarious. And it's been so great. Thank you, San Francisco, for the past week and Palm Springs. I see you. It's a little cloudy, but I know that you're going to be getting sunny tomorrow. I'm ready. So thank you guys all for tuning in. And I will see you next week on What's New Candy Loo Hoo.